This next series kind of tighten up certain positions, right? We'll be in the turtle position today. As we're set up here, ideally taking the back is great. People like going to the back, right? Let's say they have great defense from the back. Let's say your back control sucks, whatever the case may be. We're going to do other things, right? So, first off, we get in here, we got the seat belt, control the wrist, right? You get to this arm hanging out, it's really easy to scoop up. I mean, it's like right here, right? Scoop that arm up, kind of pull it back, head nice arm up, right? All I'll do is my ankle will catch his wrist, my hips will press down the elbow, right? So if I get that thing scooped up there, I can go ahead and spin my hips down, pull, pull my ankle up, right? And then push through and then tap tie, right? Again, he's got his hand up here, his hands out a little bit, right? Or I can force it out either way. I'll take this foot that's out here, I'm gonna scoop, pull it back, keep the ankle on the wrist, and your hips down, and then tap ankle up, right? Easy arm bar from there, right? Next option. You got the seatbelt check, which is my other video, right? So I'm here, I got the seatbelt set up, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna untuck it, I'm hiding it in my grip, right? I'm gonna go over diagonally across, I'm gonna hand it to myself. So when he sits up, it's right here, hand it to myself, right? It's right in here. Now I've let go of it, I'm gonna reach over his head, I'm gonna grab my own lapel, get a nice wrist control, right? Ideally, I'll just push down the back of his head, there's a choke. If you roll through, I'm gonna follow him, sit here. I'll either get a crucifix or not, but I'm going to keep this wrist right here, right? Still drive or drive through. Whichever one I need, right? Over here, center up on the logo. So I'm going to grab the dojo right now. <laughs> so, we got the seatbelt choke. We got the armor, right? With the assassin choke, which is a, uh, is a very shooter hit that? I think it's a very shooter, right? So, from here set up, you get your crucifix. And you roll through, right? So you roll through the cruise swings, like right here, right? When you get the hold of here, keep it nice and snug, pull the lapel out, and he goes over this way, right? Take it over the neck, put it through to here. And put it like that, and he chokes him out, right? So again, we're in the crucifix, take the lapel here, they go over the neck, slide over the head, they got a big head, and then choke him out there. That's the assassin choke, right? All right, so we got the Peruvians next one, right? So we're here, so the same setup, we got this. This time, I'm gonna take my arm, I'm gonna go under this one, right? Under here. So we're under here, take a lapel, over the neck this way, I'll hang the lapel close up. So he sits up, right here. Right. Sit up like this, you gotta hold it. And it's basically modified Peruvian, so this. So we're here, I'm gonna take my leg, I'm gonna swing it over his head, right? And then sit down just like it's a Peruvian. Try to be part of the gym your partner though. So we're here, we sit over the head, we go here, and then So it turns up a little bit. My legs in the back here, I'm hanging on here, all right? We're squeezing it out. So one more time. Here we set up like this. I'm reaching through underneath the armpit, that way. We're here, hand the belt to myself. So here, all right? And then leg up over the head, we sit over the head. It's like a right? right? Last one is the clock choke, right? Clock choke right here. I'm gonna hold the wrist. I hang on the wrist. I'm gonna reach through. I'm gonna grab this lapel right here close to his neck. Right. Nice tight grip. So keep a little thing nice and tight. You start to him. I'm gonna put my weight on him. Right? And I'm gonna walk. When I do this, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna pull and twist, right? So again, wrist grip, lapel there. Keep the weight on him so he can't go anywhere. And then pull, walk. Clock, Joe. That's it. Thank you, sir.